delicious Thursday sweet treat. And this is what it looks like is the cheesecake bar. Yes. Mm. It's not a Weight Watcher friendly one. No. Right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. Although but it we is did, delicious. We did promo this a moment ago by saying you could eat this on the move. Yeah, absolutely. You need to did work it off. Did you come up with that or did we just make that <laughs> No, I think you made that up. I thought <laughs> it was might, a good no. line, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this is a no bake cheesecake, okay? okay? So it's no fuss. It's really easy to do. A great one to make ahead for dinner parties or even a little gathering with friends and stuff like that. The beauty of it is that it sets up with mascarpone, cream cheese, and a little bit of white chocolate. So there's no baking, there's no any gelatin, there's nothing that you have to worry about. Um, and we're going to start off with the biscuit base. And to do that, you're going to pop your digestive biscuits. I know you're very upset because obviously you enjoy digestive well, biscuits no, no, already. I, I love a digestive, but I, I nicked I nicked. I don't a know if there's going to be enough in the bag now. Whilst Philip. we were watching um, <laughs> Alison and Rebels BT, I had about four of them. So <laughs> and some yeah. white chocolate as well. Yeah. I mean, you've spoiled your dinner now. Um, now look, so once you've bashed them up, pop them in a bag like that and you can bash them up with a rolling pin. But I would say make sure you get nice fine crumbs mm. here because when it goes to putting them into the cake tin, it really is much easier to make sure that you have a nice fine crumb. So you could do it in a food processor as well. So once you've um, once you've popped your digestive biscuits in, and a good little tip You're double is, bagged there. I've double bagged. I'm not sure why we've ju double bagged, but I'd hate to mention poor Julia because she's got it in the nest already this week. So. <laughs> she's getting a lot of mentions, Julia. <laughs> Julia is fabulous. The Julia food. helps all our chefs in the kitchen. There is another kitchen out there and she can sort of prep stuff for them and work, work very hard for them. But we she, don't do anything. She never <laughs> comes on the telly. We've no. tried. We've tried. She just won't she's come just, on day. She's just too humble and too amazing, oh. um, but she is, uh, she is fabulous and uh, she has double bagged me biscuits today. Right, so. okay. <laughs> Which you've just put butter into. Yes, yeah, so we've added some melted butter here and I would say if you want to mix it up you could go uh, ginger biscuits, amaretto biscuits and one of your lovely crew gave me that tip earlier. They made a cheesecake with that. Oh so God. again, feel free to kind of mix that up. Even some desiccated coconut in there is lovely as well. Um, so do feel free to kind of adapt a recipe like this. Now, with your cake, we're making a cheesecake bar here rather than an, a regular cheesecake. I would say if you're doing a regular cheesecake, you can do it with this mix. Pop it into a tin with a removable base uh, and plenty of parchment paper just to get it out there. What's the difference between a cheesecake bar and a cheesecake? Well, Philip, you just cut it into a bar rather than, a <laughs> than into a round. Right, then. So it's just the way you slice <laughs> it. Yeah, so basically it's my normal cheesecake recipe, but I've put it into squares, right, all right? right? Yeah. I'm all just right. mixing it up every week, you so know? So that you can eat them on the go. <laughs> there you go! Great for bakes. Sales, great for all sorts of things. Yeah, so it is it is handy and they are nice to give uh, for people. Also, portion control. That's why I think they work really well as a bar as well. So yeah. there's that too. And um, look, once you've pressed that down, make sure you take your time to get a nice kind of even base across it. Uh, you don't, to be honest, I make this and I don't ever bother putting it in the fridge. You can stick it straight, the mix straight on top of this and it's fine. So we have one that's flattened out like that. For the mix, again, really, really easy. We've melted down some white chocolate. Keep your eye on this. Do it over a, a, a double boiler like this to make sure that you get a nice slow melt. Mm -hmm. White chocolate can be tricky, so do keep your eye on it. Um, to our bowl, we're going to go in there with some cream cheese, some mascarpone. It's incredibly rich, but incredibly delicious. And the surprising it's thing really, with this really is lovely. that it's quite light flavoured. It doesn't feel kind of like it's too much. So we've got double cream going in as well, mm. uh, as well as that. And then we're just going to give that a little whisk up just until it's nice and smooth. Very the sweet. key thing, it's, is it all right? Mm. Is it nice? It's sweet. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. But the thing is that you really want to make sure you have the balance of some fruit in there. So some raspberry some blueberries work really well. Well, it's yeah. one of my five days. It, <laughs> you're getting it right fine. now. Yeah, digestive biscuits, white chocolates, and mm. a raspberry in Ras for the mix. A raspberry. Yeah, one raspberry. <laughs> so give that a little mix up. And once that's come to a nice smooth mixture, we're going to fold in the chocolate. Um, again, you could swirl through all sorts of things. Lemon curd would be gorgeous in here. Salted caramel. There's many, many options here. Uh, I'm going to turn that off. And literally, I would say top tip is not to over mix this because it can, uh, it can seize and you don't want that. So seize me. Meaning tight. Meaning it just gets really kind of thick and you don't want that. You want a nice smooth, light and luscious mixture. So as soon because as you it's... you think, sorry, you yeah. think that to make it sit up like that, you'd have to whisk it up a little bit, but you're yeah. saying don't this, do that. No, this is the beauty. The white chocolate will help it set in the oh, fridge. So you don't have to worry okay. about, you know, it, it, a lot of people kind of, when it comes to cheesecakes, they're either too wobbly or they're too over baked if you're baking them. Yeah. This is a foolproof method. It's one I've come back. I've been making this for 10 years. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, but, and I normally would do it normally as a blueberry and white chocolate cheesecake, which works really well. So there's many, many options. Smooth it out and um, you should be left with this luscious cheesecake mixture. And I would say try and get good quality white chocolate here. It's something like green and blacks or lint is really nice. That's, yeah. lint. Um, That's lint, that one. That is lint here, yes. So now when you're mixing this through, because we're doing our cheesecake bars, what I would say is smush up some of your raspberries mm. with the back of a fork. And we're going to pop one or two of those uh, 
tablespoons in there. Fold that through and you will get these luscious raspberry swirls through here. Top tip, do not overmix because otherwise you'll just get a kind of could a pinky you, mixture. Bearing in mind that those, those sort of chocolate bars are quite expensive, can I do this with a few Milky Ways? Absolutely. Uh, milky you, you can, milky you can, but you will get the best result. Because it's kind of, we're not baking here, where, you know, it's literally you're tasting what's there. Yeah. It's really about trying to get the best you, ha you can get your hands on. But, right, okay. but absolutely, no problem with Milky Bars. Go on for, for your laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so spread that across. We're going to pop this over with some of our raspberries on top. And literally, that is it. It's so simple. It's going to sit in the fridge. I let it set for about two hours or so, just till uh, that chocolate has mm -hmm. completely um, set. And then you have the most luscious raspberry cheesecake bars. Serve it like that. Serve it in squares. You can really mix it up. So um, pop them in, and you've got that lovely bit of raspberry running through it as well. If you want to serve this, um, I literally just pile them up onto uh, a little cake stand like this. So add some raspberries around. That's give it a so sprinkle. Of white chocolate. And it's pretty. It feels like, you know, I've done something nice for the weekend. It does feel nice. <laughs> and so, really, this mixture, the basic bit that you've done, yeah. is kind of a vehicle for all sorts of different flavours. So, Please. this is just one idea. Absolutely. That's the combination of the white chocolate, the mascarpone, the cream cheese. That is going to give you your base for a set cheesecake that mm. can be used with a whole host of different things. So, really handy to remember. And um, yeah. How'd you get it out of that tin? How'd you get it out of the tin? Yeah. With great ease. You just pop it. This is a removable base. So, right. you pop it on a, yeah. on a jar like that and yeah. then push it up through. But, but obviously, wait till it's set, set. in the fridge. That's yeah. not set. And two hours in the fridge, two and that'll be fridge. set. Yeah. And overnight, make it ahead of time. It's an absolute winner. Mm. Do you put the chocolate sprinkles on after you get it out? Otherwise, they'll go hard, or is that all right? You can do it whatever you want, Holly. There's it's no very, rules. very adaptive. There's no rules when it comes to cheesecake. Well, this cheesecake, anyway. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, there's a new rules, Thank but you. Yeah, thanks very much. Well, the details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs, download the free This Morning app.